Hey everyone, so on this channel there is a question that I get asked a lot and that is this. Sarah, you talk about lots of print-on-demand websites and apps, Redbubble, Etsy, Printify, Printful, Merch by Amazon. I'm confused. One day you talk about Redbubble, the next you talk about Printful. Do you just keep changing your mind or is it because Printful is now paying you more commissions to talk about them than Redbubble is? I'm confused Sarah, I just want to know which one is the best? I just want to know what the best one is so that I can just focus my time on that and stop wasting my time on the others. And look, you know, I understand. So let's settle this once and for all. Drum roll please. The answer as to which is the best print on demand website and app that you should be using is the one that's right for you. Yes, unfortunately the truth is Taylor, there is no best one. Nope. Instead, there are just different ones that suit all different types of businesses and all types of different goals. And so when I talk about how to start a t-shirt store for free with a phone, I'll talk about Redbubble because I believe that's the best one to achieve that goal. And when I talk about how to automate a Shopify print on demand store, I will talk about Printful and Printify because I believe that they are the best ones to achieve that goal. In short, the reason why I talk about different print on demand websites and apps isn't because one is paying me more to talk about them that day. Instead, it's because they all have different pros and they all have different cons. And so depending on what type of print on demand business that you want to build, you'll want to use different apps or different websites. There can't just be one that is perfect for everyone. I mean, you think about it, right? If I made a poll on this channel and asked, what is better? Is pizza better? Or is fruit better? Or are donuts better? Well, we'd get all sorts of opinions. Even though obviously there is just one correct answer here since very clearly pizza is superior, much superior. But yes, even though pizza is clearly the winner, there are still some people out there that will say that as fruit is both healthy and delicious, that it is therefore clearly the best. And there are some sweet tooths out there that would say, no, tasty sugary donuts are clearly the best. We all have different tastes and wants and so we all choose the food that fits our tastes. Well, print on demand stores are very much the same. We all have different things that we're looking to achieve with our print on demand businesses and so different websites and apps have been created to help you achieve those specific goals. And so what I've done for this video is I've identified the five most common goals that I see new business owners looking to achieve and I've identified which websites and apps will help you achieve those specific goals so that you can choose the one that is right for you. And that's important because keep in mind, your goals might be very different from my goals. Which means then that, spoiler alert, you're going to discover that my personal favourites are Shopify, Printful and Printify, but just because they're my personal favourites doesn't mean they should be your personal favourites. So let's get started by looking at the first common goal that I see a lot of new print on demand businesses have and that is this. Goal 1. Start a print on demand business for free. Probably the most common goal that I see a lot of new businesses have is that they want to get started for free with no startup costs or fees. Since, well, they're broke, so they have no money to invest, which is why they want to earn more money. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> and if that's you, you're in luck because there's actually a wide range of websites and apps that can help you achieve this goal. First up, let's take a look at user-generated print-on-demand marketplaces where all the products on here are designed by the users themselves. Out of these, Redbubble is overall the biggest and best one. The way that user-generated marketplaces work like this is simple. First up, you register for a free account with Redbubble. Next, you upload a trendy picture or slogan to their website and give it a title, keywords, and a short description. And then, using their product creation tool, you digitally place your picture or slogan onto the products that you think it will look best on. And then you submit your products to go live. There's no waiting time, no review process. Your pictures and slogans go live automatically. Redbubble will store a copy of the picture or slogan you uploaded in its database and create a product page for each of the items you selected to sell it on. Now any of Redbubble's customers browsing through their marketplace will be able to find it and purchase it. And so then every time that someone comes and buys an item featuring your design, Redbubble will then print your design onto that product and then package the product up and then ship it out to the customer. They'll remove their production and shipping fees from the money the customer paid and pay the rest of the profit to you in the form of a commission. So it's entirely free because Redbubble never charges you anything. Instead, they just collect the money the customer paid and then remove their costs out of it and then pay out the rest of the profit to you. You just get a commission check each month. It doesn't get any more free than this. 
which is why on this channel you'll often see that I recommend Redbubble on videos that focus on choosing a business model that's 100% free. But of course, Redbubble isn't the only user-generated marketplace that works like this. Cafe Press is the same and it's 100% free. TeePublic is also the same and it's 100% free. And Zazzle also works the same and it's 100% free. And so if you decide to start a print-on-demand business by utilizing free user-generated marketplaces and websites, you can list your pictures and slogans for sale on Redbubble and scale your profits by also choosing to list them on other similar websites as well. And the next website that's 100% free on the condition that you set it up in the right way is this website here, Amazon. Now, usually when you list your items for sale on Amazon, you have to pay a seller account fee, but the exception is if you use their print-on-demand service when adding products to it. It works similar to dedicated user-generated print-on-demand marketplaces like Redbubble. You come here and upload a picture or slogan, and then you choose the product that you think it'll look best on, usually the tried and true t-shirt, and then you make a product listing for it, giving it a title and a description, featuring a blurb and two bullet points, and then you save it. Amazon will now create a product listing for it, and that product listing will be live on Amazon.com itself. Customers browsing through Amazon, looking for fun t-shirts to buy, will be able to find it on there, just like any other type of product listing on the site. And then each time a customer comes and buys one of the t-shirt designs that you've uploaded, Amazon's merch factory will print your design onto the t-shirt, package the t-shirt up, and ship it out to the customer. Just like Redbubble, they will remove their cost of production from the money the customer paid and pay you the rest of the profit as a commission check. And so once again, this is 100% free on the condition that you use Amazon's print-on-demand service because you never have to pay any upfront costs or fees because Amazon just collects the money the customer pays and then takes out their fees from that and pays you the profit as a commission. And another 100% free website is Teespring, but it's a very different type of website. Instead of it being a giant online store like Amazon or a giant online marketplace like Redbubble, it is instead a website that just lets you set up your own print-on-demand shop, which you then have to advertise yourself, but that Teespring will manage for you with no upfront costs to start. You simply come and open a free Teespring account, and then you choose which products you want to sell in your store, and then you upload your picture or slogan to it and place it where you like on the product, set a price for it, and then save it to your store. All the products you create will be listed for sale in your storefront. And just like Redbubble and Merch by Amazon, Teespring take care of the production and shipping for you. Every time that someone comes and buys one of the items that you've added into it, Teespring's factory will print your design onto the product, package it up, and then ship it out to the customer. They'll also remove production fees from the money the customer paid and pay you a commission, so there are zero fees to pay up front, so it's free to set up. And another website that you can arguably set up a print-on-demand store for free with is Etsy. I actually have a free video tutorial on this channel that shows how to set up a print-on-demand store on Etsy for free. Unlike Redbubble, Amazon, and Teespring though, Etsy do not have their own print-on-demand factory built into the website and app. So what you do is you create a free seller account on Etsy and then you connect a dedicated print-on-demand app and print factory such as Printful or Printify into it. These apps are free to set up. And no, just to clarify, dedicated print-on-demand apps like Printify and Printful can't be used by themselves. They have no store functionality built into them. So you need to be connected to another store, such as a Shopify or Etsy store. And so once you've connected it into, say, your Shopify store, inside of the apps themselves, you can choose which of their products that they create that you want to sell in your Etsy store, upload your design, and then place it onto the product. And then you can just push that product directly from the print-on-demand app into your Etsy store. A product listing for it will be created on Etsy. And now, every time that someone comes and buys an item you're selling on there, your print-on-demand app will see the order and go, yep, let's make it. They'll then print your design onto the product, package it up, and then ship it out to the customer. Except here's the thing, right? Unlike the other websites I've mentioned so far, since, as I said, you can't just sell directly through Printful or Printify because they have no store functionality built into them, that also means that they can't collect payments. Which means then that when a customer comes into your Etsy store and buys an item that you've added with Printful or Printify, it is Etsy that are collecting the money that the customer paid, not Printful or Printify. So there's no way that these dedicated print-on-demand apps can just remove the cost of production out of the money that the customer has paid, like Redbubble, since they never actually collect it. Instead, you get charged their print-on-demand free upfront the moment that the customer orders the item. So that isn't very free then if you have to pay this fee upfront, right? Well, not quite, because it can kind of basically be free to you if you have access to a credit card. 
Yes, I use credit cards to pay for all of my print on demand costs with Printfill and Printify. So for example, let's say a customer buys this t-shirt from you for $22.95 on Etsy plus $4 for shipping. Well, it will take one week on average for this payment to clear into your bank account. So what you do is you pay Printify $12.55 upfront using your credit card to make and ship that t-shirt. And then one week later, when the money the customer paid arrives into your bank account, you pay off your credit card bill. Most credit cards will give you four to five weeks to pay off charges before you accrue interest. So if you have a credit card, selling on Etsy is basically free. But of course, if you don't have a credit card, you'd have to pay for those production costs up front and it wouldn't be free. So as you can see, if opening up a print on demand store for free is one of your goals, then in many ways, you're quite lucky because you've got lots of options. But on the other hand, you're also sort of unlucky because you've got lots of options. How are you supposed to choose between them all? Well, luckily, if you don't want to, you don't actually have to choose. <laughs> because as far as I'm aware, yes, you can upload your designs and pictures to all of these websites. Since I don't think that any of them have exclusivity agreements that you sign when you register, although I still recommend reading each website's terms and conditions before you get started, just to double check. But you see, here is the thing. Not everyone has the time to upload their designs to so many websites, and so they have to be selective and choose the best one for them to get started with. And so what I recommend that you do then is that you keep watching and that you don't just find one website or app that meets one of your goals, but you find a website or app that meets multiple of your goals. <laughs> We're gonna cross goal here to find the best one for you. And so then on that note, the next common goal that I see a lot of people wanting to achieve in their business is Goal number two, start a print on demand business that requires no marketing. So here's the deal, right? Some of us don't mind marketing and advertising. I actually quite enjoy it. And I discuss the ways that I market and advertise products inside of my free ebook, the six steps that six figure online stores follow to make over $10,000 a month. And you'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. And here's the thing, while I quite like marketing and advertising, I absolutely understand that some people just don't like it. Nope. Instead, they'd rather sell on a print on demand marketplace that markets and sells products for them on autopilot. And so if that is you, probably the easiest way that you're going to achieve that goal is to choose a website that is constantly advertising itself and is already very popular, that people are already coming to every day looking to buy products so that you don't have to market them yourself. Now out of these, Amazon is clearly the biggest in the winner, being literally the biggest e-commerce website in the world, getting billions of visitors each month. Etsy comes up next and is still extremely popular, getting hundreds of millions of visitors each month, which isn't quite billions, but it's still pretty good. And while Redbubble may not be quite as big as these juggernauts, it is still pretty big, getting tens of millions of visitors a month, but yes. This is why the successful Redbubble stores tend to make hundreds of dollars a month, whereas the successful Etsy stores tend to make thousands of dollars a month. Etsy is just bigger and gets more traffic. Whereas Teespring, not only does it get 7 million visitors a month, but most of that traffic comes from people advertising their own Teespring stores on social media sites like Facebook. So for example, this here is a successful Engineer Memes Facebook page that opened up a Teespring store to sell merch on to their fans and they'll advertise it on their page to their followers. And so that's the thing about Teespring, right? Don't sell on here if you dislike marketing because it doesn't get much traffic at all outside the people directly advertising their own products. My advice is to only sell on Teespring if you want to market and advertise your store yourself. So that's that goal, but now we're gonna come up to another goal, which interestingly enough, does not align well with the previous two goals. And that is goal number three, start a print on demand business that makes the most money. You think about it, Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, they take care of a lot for you. Advertising, marketing, website maintenance, customer service, production, shipping. And so to pay for all of these things that they're doing for you, they take fees out of the money that the customer has paid. For example, on Redbubble, if you set a standard t-shirt to sell for $20, Redbubble will remove around $17 in fees, leaving you with around $3 in commission. And with Amazon Merch, if you set a standard t-shirt to sell for $20, they'll remove around $15 in fees, leaving you with around $5 in commission. Now, I very much disagree with the people who say that these fees are too high, considering that they take care of everything, especially when you consider that for most businesses, a 10% profit margin is average. 
But the reality is, is that most of the fees that Redbubble and Amazon charge you are going towards their marketing costs, as it's the biggest cost in running a business. That's why it seems so high. It's not because it costs Redbubble $17 to make a t-shirt, it's because they also have to pay their marketing team and advertising costs. Which is why if you learn how to market products yourself, you can instead opt to open your own e-commerce website with something like Shopify and market the products yourself too. In fact, as I explain in this video here, which I will link to in the video description below, my favorite form of marketing is pretty much free, Google SEO traffic. Because of this, this is easily the most profitable way to run a store. So here's how a Shopify print on demand store works. I've set up an example one here, Brew Treats to show you. What I've done is I've connected my two favorite dedicated print on demand apps, which are of course Printful and Printify. I then went into each one and selected my favorite products from their catalogs and uploaded my picture and slogan onto those products and placed it where I liked it. And then I pushed them to my store. And so now whenever a customer comes and browses through the website and decides that, hey, they'll buy a t-shirt from me, each time the customer goes and purchases that t-shirt with shipping being additional charge, the print on demand app that I created it with, such as Printify, goes, yep, we'll charge you the base cost to print and ship that t-shirt. They'll then send the t-shirt to their print shop. They'll then print the design onto the t-shirt, package the t-shirt up, and then ship it out to the customer. Now you just do the maths. If I were to charge $20 for this t-shirt in my store, with shipping being an additional cost to the customer, of course, <laughs> it costs around $8 for the t-shirt itself within Printify. So I'm left with around $12 in profit. Versus on Redbubble, where if you were to set it to charge $20 for a standard t-shirt, you're left with around $3 in profit. And so if you do take the time to learn marketing methods yourself, especially free marketing methods, your profit margins can be way higher because you're not paying another app to do the marketing for you. Not only this though, but when you sell privately in your own store, you can charge much higher prices. So as I discussed in this video here, where I discuss my favorite print on demand items that I sell, a video which I'll also link to in the video description below, one of my favorite products is t-shirts. And as I say in this video, I do not charge $20 for a t-shirt. Nope. Instead, I'll charge between $25 to $30. Why? Well, it's because if you were to sell a t-shirt on Redbubble for $25, nobody would buy it, right? Because people browsing through Redbubble would be like, man, every other t-shirt on here is selling for way less than $25. I'll just go buy one of those cheaper t-shirts instead. Whereas if I advertise my own store, every time a potential customer comes in here, guess what? All of my t-shirts, they all cost at least $25. So there are no competitors here driving my prices down. So I get to set my price. And so actually my profit margins are even higher than $12. <laughs> Boom. If you're interested in learning more about getting your own traffic for free, it's something I also show my methods for getting inside my premium e-commerce training program, the Econ Clubhouse. If you're interested in seeing if my course is right for you, I have a link to it in the video description below. And actually, there is another common goal that I see leads a lot of people to choose Shopify. And that is goal number four, start a print on demand business that gives them the most freedom. Look, here's the reality, whether you like it or not, when you're selling on a third party website, whether that be Etsy, Redbubble or Amazon, you have to play by their rules. And it turns out that they actually have a lot of rules especially Amazon. You have to apply to even be allowed to use Amazon's print on demand service. And I can tell you now, not everyone gets accepted. And then they place limits on how often you can upload pictures and slogans. I have a whole video case study here if you're interested in checking it out. I'll again, link to it in the video description below. But as I said, it's not just Amazon, even though Amazon have the most rules, Etsy definitely have some as well. I'll get people every day telling me they got banned from Etsy and usually the most common reason is because Etsy has a bunch of rules about who can and can't use their payment processor and if they find out that you can't use it, they'll ban you. And sometimes they will even ban you incorrectly. Yep, they'll accidentally ban people who they think are not eligible but actually are, which is why I always tell people to appeal the ban. I'd say that at least half the time Etsy realizes that you're actually eligible after all and unbans you, so it's definitely worth a shot. But either way, when you're selling on a third party website, you just have to accept that in exchange for the enormous convenience that they provide, that you are at the mercy of their rules and their banning algorithm. And so understandably, if you want the most freedom and flexibility, then opening up your own store on your own domain using something like Shopify is the way to go. 
As long as what you're selling isn't illegal, you can usually sell it with Shopify. For example, Redbubble is the least role heavy out of all these platforms, but they still have some roles. So take pornography or even soft pornography. That is explicitly banned. Whereas if for some reason you wanted to sell pornography with a Shopify store, you can do it. Not all of their payment processes will accept those payments, but they have a list of payment processes that will integrate into Shopify that will let you sell stuff like that if you want to. And actually there is another goal that I know a lot of people do want to achieve with their print on demand stores that is also important to me. And that is goal number five, start a print on demand business that consistently sells high quality products. So here's the thing with Redbubble, right? They do so much for you. They do marketing, they do advertising, they do website maintenance, they do customer service, they do production, they do shipping. And they do this while keeping their product prices surprisingly low, but keeping their commission checks surprisingly high. And the way that they achieve this is that they cut corners by outsourcing the product printing and shipping to third party factories. Redbubble outsources all of that and unfortunately, they don't tell you who these factories are. Instead, they just list the countries that they're located in. And what this means then, is that you pretty much can't do any sort of quality control. If you upload a t-shirt to Redbubble and someone buys it, then you have no idea which third party Redbubble print shop will print it. And some of these print shops that they work with they're not great. Take this video review I did here. I compared three websites for print quality, Redbubble, Teespring, and Printify. I got this picture printed onto a t-shirt that I purchased from each of them. Well, the Teespring t-shirt was washed out in not a great print, which wasn't a surprise, as to be frank, Teespring merch consistently gets bad reviews, womp womp, but the Redbubble t-shirt wasn't good either. The colors were also washed out and the lines were not printed sharply at all. Whereas the t-shirt I got from Printify was awesome. Nice, vibrant print and the lines on it were also printed sharply too. And here is the thing, right? I knew that this print would be good. I knew I could trust it to look awesome. And the reason for that is because when you order a product for your customer with Printify, it's not a mystery who is going to print that product for them. When I connect this to a Shopify store, I can go in and select which of their specific print shops in their system will print my products. My favorite one here is called Monster Digital, which is also known as TSC Miami. You can actually go and look their print factory up and do due diligence on them and order samples. And so if you are a more premium brand or an artist that cares a lot about your designs being associated with high quality products and prints, then choose a print on demand app or website that tells you explicitly where the products are being printed out of so that you can do due diligence and sometimes they're done in-house. Amazon prints their merch in-house, so the quality is consistently good. You can also only let Printful's in-house print shops print your products if you choose to sell with them, so the quality is also consistently good. And on Printify, while some of their print shops are admittedly pretty bad at printing merch, you can read reviews to avoid the bad ones and only pick the good ones, such as Monster Digital, to print the products you sell. But you see, here's the thing, right? For me, this is very important and I will prioritize this over other things, but you know what? Not all artists and not all brands are going to prioritize this. And that's absolutely fine because guess what? Not all consumers care either. Take Redbubble. They target a younger audience, teenagers and 20 somethings who often don't have a lot of money, but they enjoy cool art and slogans and also value a fun buying experience. For these types of customers, Redbubble's funky vibe, packaging, and overall aesthetic is great for them, and they'd rather pay lower prices even if it means the products aren't as good as they could be if they were more expensive. For these people, Redbubble is right for them, and Redbubble gets a lot of happy repeat customers. And so remember, no one website or app can do everything, and no one app or website is good or bad. They're just different, and they all offer different things for different businesses and for different customers who all value and want different things too. So then, which website, or should I say websites, are right for you? Let me know in the video description below, and if you'd like to learn even more about setting up a print-on-demand store, you should be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you'd like to see me reviewing different products from Redbubble, Teespring, and Printify, you should be sure to watch my video reviews. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.